If he doesn't know anything, maybe it's possible, but once he knows what's going on, it's a very bad idea. For example, you see some people like going for an arm lock like this, it's just going to let Brad hit the back and end up in a really bad spot. When you're in someone's close guard, don't try to submit them. My aim is always to try to open the legs. Okay? So I want his legs open, and then I can pass the legs. Once we're past the legs, now we can start doing submissions. Okay? So, how do we open the legs? First thing, I need posture, okay? So if Brad's broken my posture down, and I'm trying to push to open the legs, I have very little, there's no tension on his legs. My arm's never gonna be stronger than, stronger than the leg alone, okay? So if I just try and push with my arm, he's always gonna be able to beat that. What I need is a lot of pressure from my body positioning and my posture, already making it hard for him to hold his guard together. And, and the best thing to do that is actually you can stand up. So once I can stand up, like now his legs have to support his body weight, and I can even like, pressure in a bit on the hips. And now when I use my arm as a bit of extra leverage, that's gonna uh, be able to open the gut. But you're just really not gonna do it once you, when your posture's broken like this, okay? So I need to focus on getting my posture like this. In the gi, really good way, like push two lapels together, hold it, and straighten your arm, okay? I need my arm straight to stop Brad from pulling me down. Okay. So you can use two arms to try and beat my one. Because my arm's straight, it's my skeletal strength. Pull with both arms. It's my skeletal strength. I should be able to hold that very easily. Okay. If my arm's bent, yes, his two arms will beat my one arm pretty easily. Okay. And you see, sometimes people, they straighten their arm, and then when they go to get up, they go like this. Okay. You can't bend your arm when you go to stand up. It's just going to break your posture. It has to, once it's straight, it has to stay straight. Like this. Okay. It can go here, or sometimes you can go like two hands on the arm um, hit as well. That's another option. Okay, but we're going to work this one today. What's the problem here? Arm um, um, bar. That's right. So Brad, if I don't do anything, Brad moves his hips to the side, swings him up. So he needs to get his hips like up near my shoulder. He does that arm bar again. See his hips have to lift to get the arm. Okay. What's going to do the roll of my other arm? Control the hips. That's right. Yeah. So I'm controlling the hips now. Alright, so do that arm by now, Fred. You can see the big gap he gives me to free my elbow even uh, if he tries to arm up. Okay, so my other arm has to hold the hips. Should be straight or bent? Straight. Straight. Straight now. But it should be straight, right? So uh, you can hold like this, he can probably still move his hips around that and still take the arm. Okay, I can't hold his legs off unless my arm's straight. Okay, so you have to be like kind of upright, like this. <coughs> um, and we're going to work to get up from there, okay? Now, I was saying some people bend their arms when they go to stand up, and I think it's because of this. You're trying to like, uh, if you're trying to like, get up on the spot here, yeah. so if I try and get up like this, I'm gonna have to bend my arms, right? I can't like, I can't step up on my legs here properly without bending my arms like that. What we're gonna do instead is bring our hips forward, okay? All my weight goes through the arms here like this, and I can keep them straight. And once my hips are forward, Step up. Okay. So both arms are straight, hips are going to go forward. Okay. Step next to Brad's hip. And then I'm going to, to get up, I don't want to step the other one where he can back, grab both of my feet. Okay. If it goes both of my feet, I don't have much balance, I might be able to take him backwards. So I'm going to step up, pivot my right foot, and I'm going to go on this side. Step up, my, my knees pressing into his hip, like this. I pivot my foot to the side, both feet stay planted, and I'm going to twist towards my right. Okay, and that alone can open the, the guard. Okay. Pivoting my hips like that can pressure the guard. Okay. But just for the sake of it, Brad's going to, going to hold on like this. So I'm going to take my right hand back, push on the leg. Open the guard, like so. 
We're going to deal with this next. We've got a great chunk of the leg at this stage. We're going to deal with that in a moment. Okay, so we're going to get two hands together on the lapel. Both lapels so that they can't take your hands left or right. Other hand on the hips. Both arms straight. We'll bring our hips forward. Step next to the hip. Put your foot out. Then we're going to pivot sideways, pressuring the hip. Reach back onto the shin, not the knee, on the shin, like this, and you're gonna open the gut. All right, it's important which hand you use. Okay, so what's the, what's the problem uh, if I did, sorry, if my hands were the other way, and I went to reach back, what's the problem here? Yeah, so triangle or potentially, or butter, maybe armbar as well. So I'm no longer controlling his hips and my arms, Okay. So what I want is I want the hand that's high to move back. Try and break my posture here, Brett. Like I can kind of like lean back a bit enough to, before I needed this hand, to stop my posture being broken. But once I've stood up and twisted, I can kind of lean away a bit. And even this hand, when he pulls, is not going to break my, my posture. <coughs> Reach back, open the leg. And as soon as the leg's open, I'm just going to put our knee in the middle, stop them from being able to reclose their gut. Once more fast. Sorry. All right, let's have a go. Three, two, one. That pass, like that's what I do if I if I can. But most of the time they'll do something that makes me have to change what I'm going to do. Most common thing they'll reach under the leg, right? Um, so what we'll do. Brad's got a really, Brad's probably got one of the best closed guards we've got here at Absolute. So uh, I'm going to try and open the guard, see what happens, and then I'll, I'll teach you whatever uh, I end up having to use if I manage to get it to work. <laughs> um, all right. So I'll start with my grips. Oh, it might make me. Anyway, we'll delete, we'll delete it if I don't. <laughs> all right. Time when you, as soon as you stand, uh, whichever grips you got, they're probably going to reach under your leg, right? And this can be a problem. It makes it hard to like pressure the hip like I was going to do before. And if I stand up with my weight backwards a bit, here Brad's got a good chance at sweeping. <laughs> Usually, so sweep, taking me back this way. Okay. So whenever they're under the leg, I want to try to like drive forward a bit. So you've got to expect this and you've got to be good at balancing from here. Okay, so again, they're going to go under the leg, right? You can see from his angle here, if I get up, he can push me backwards with his hips right now. If he extends his back, it like tilts me back, right? The more I come over, see here, his hips now, now will, will push more upwards, which is not going to tilt me over. So I start to, I start trying to like put my knee on the, the stomach and start almost trying to stack him. A little bit here. Okay. Brad can probably already feel there's a bit of pressure on the legs, and he was holding my my sleeve here. So what I was working to do was to start to pressure the hips here. I can actually open with either arm now. So if I can manage to just get one hand pushing on the hip, and I'm pressuring like this, if it's my right hand, I can start to reach my left hand behind and open the legs this way. Brad ended up letting go of that for whatever reason. Uh, and this was, <laughs> this came free for a sec, and I was pinning with my left hand, okay? And then from this posture, I can reach back, open, and then I can start to pass here. Now, as soon as the guard's open, I do want to bring this arm underneath the leg, and we do like a stack pass to, to finish, and we open like that, okay? So, the way I want you to work, we're going to stand up with our, our same grips, the person's going to underhook, and go like knee on belly, 
but not leaning back like this. It has to be like leaning over them. Okay? Trying to lift their hips up off the ground. Okay? If they're holding your arm, free it. One hand on the hips. Reach back to the shin. Open the guard. And then when it's open, you're going to take this hand underneath the legs. And we're going to do like a stack pass. And then under the legs to pass the guard from there. Right? Let's have a go. Four minutes each. Three, two, one. <laughs> 